I was by your side So where are you now that I need you? Where are you now that I need you? Awards um, 2015 contest and um, welcome to Long Island. This is my beautiful home and right behind me we have the Long Island Sound and it is about 43 degrees today so yes I got in the water just for you. Um, I really wanted this video to be perfect and this is kind of my wet supermodel look that I have here for you guys today and yep feel free to stick around and figure out how to get this look. Bye! Ooh, it's a little windy so I'm gonna put my hair up and we're gonna start with the NYX primer. Applying that all over my face and now we're gonna move on to the NYX HD foundation applying with my fingertips and blending out with the beauty blender. I'm gonna take a spoolie and take out any extra foundation in my brows. I want to lightly fill my brows in with the Anastasia pencil and you know this is a beach look so we don't want harsh brows. Now I'm reaching for the Anastasia clear brow gel to con control these crazy brows on this windy day. Taking MAC Paint Pot and Painterly, I'm going to apply it all over my lid as a base and an adhesive to my eyeshadows. Taking a medium brow color, we're going to pack it on and smooth into the crease for a transition color. Then this sparkly black shadow, we're gonna pack, 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 and keep it on the round of the eye. Now we're gonna merge the black and brown shadow together and move the black slightly outward to connect with the bottom for a smoke out. This is Color Pop, and it's an iridescent color, applying it with my fingers and packing it on the lid, only in the black part and we're gonna smooth out the bottom lash line with a soft brush. And we're gonna take the eyeshadow out and pull the iridescent color outward a little bit. And we're just gonna blend out any harsh transition lines with a blending brush. Now taking a white shadow and putting it under the brow for a finished look. The Makeup Forever Gel Liner is a gel-like texture and it's gonna thicken the look of the lashes and we're going to apply to the upper part of the lash as well as the top and bottom waterline. Woo! That was tough. It's really windy out here. Now taking a stiffer brush we're going to smudge out and smoke it. Taking the Maybelline Concealer Highlighter, apply under the eye, down the nose, and on the forehead and the chin. This adds fullness and brings more contrast to the face. And blend, baby! Now we're going to set this with the Anastasia Yellow Powder. And we're going to use a rolling sweep-like motion here. To further this contour up, we're going to then dip the same brush into this bronzing color. And we're not going to harsh for harsh lines here, so I'm using a fluffy brush. I want this to be kind of glowy, and we're going to hit the cheeks and the forehead and under the chin. No double chins here. Popping on a little bit of color, not getting overwhelming here. And take a fluffy brush and blend. Now we're on the highlighter and I just want to pack it on the cheeks bone in the middle of the forehead and the chin. I like using my finger for the nose and the upper lip. Take a neutral pencil. Um, this is the ColourPop Lumiere. And line the lips nice and full and drag the color inward. It will create a nice union of liner and color once you apply the color. Now I'm applying the NYX Istanbul color. And let's not forget mascara.
Time to get wet. Now I'm applying gloss for my lips and we're actually gonna put gloss on top of our lids. I really think this completes the whole look and takes it to a whole nother level. So it's gonna be really sticky, but it looks awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and stay tuned till the end to see some bloopers. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, don't forget to share, like, or subscribe, or all of them. And, you know, I really appreciate the support. So if you like the video, click like. If you have a comment, write a comment. And if you want to stick around and see all my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm super excited about this entry. It's been a ton of work and a lot of planning. And as you can see, I'm just, this is just so much fun for me. And I hope to see you for another entry for Nick's uh, Face Awards. Bye, guys.